She hadn't been on in about four or five months. Rosa Corey, who's one of the best researched, well-spoken firebrands uh, hailing from where San Francisco and the author of Behind the Green Mask, You and Agenda 21, she will be joining us. Now, Rosa Corey. Hey, Alex. You know, what we're talking about here is the erection of a totalitarian state right in front of us. This is what globalization is. It's the, it's the standardization of all systems. And so you're seeing it in every possible element, every possible aspect of your life, from health care to law enforcement to schools to land use, water use restrictions. This is the way that corporations take over. This is the corporatocracy. So what do corporate corporations want? They want low-wage workers, global markets, standardized systems, and they want to destroy competition. And this is what we're getting here. This is artificial scarcity all over the world, whether you're in the UK or Australia, New Zealand, Canada, the United States, EU, wherever you are, this is the globalization of all systems. And we're experiencing this now because we have a long way to fall in the United States in order to bring us to the same level as developing nations. So when you think about corporatocracy, it's about developing new markets. There's no loyalty to existing markets. So if we collapse into poverty or slightly, you know, below the median for the entire world, that is of no concern to the huge corporations. What they're looking for is to bring up the, the very low uh, third world nations so that they can buy their goods and work cheaply. This is what we're looking at. This is what we're dealing with here. This is a totalitarian uh, state being erected because they need to control all systems, inventory and control. That's what this is about. You know, this is uh, really hard for people to believe. They think, well, you know, this can't be possible. How can this be going on, for instance, in the United States, a totalitarian, uh, you know, dictatorship happening? But this is what it looks like. People are not aware that this is what it looks like in your town. They're not going to call it Agenda 21. They'll call it sustainable development. They'll call it regional plans. You'll see it as water and land use restrictions. Smart growth. Smart Smart growth, wildlands project, uh, common core in the schools, that standardization of your school. And they'll lie and say, we're going to give you parkland. We're going to take this farmer's land, his 5,000 acres, and not pay him anything. We're just going to take it. Then they turn around and build condos on it that, that the mayor who takes it, his buddy, builds the houses. I mean, it's, it's just unbelievable. Yes, this is about what they're doing is it's a completely unlevel playing field because they're using your taxes to subsidize low income development and high density transit oriented development. So they can raise the general public's taxes even more. That's what Bloomberg says. Let's talk about that. You're going to live in a 250 square foot, San Francisco is doing it too, apartment. They're going to raise your taxes in an actuary to force you into that. Well, you know, this stuff sounds great. If it didn't sound so good, we wouldn't be falling for it. I mean, who doesn't want water? walkable, bikeable transit neighborhoods, you know? Sounds so great. But smart growth is the hardscape for your future poverty. It is for a failed economy and a loss of private property that they're designing these small apartments stacked in the center of your town so that you uh, supposedly don't need a vehicle, but the fact is that you will only be able to go where that train line that may or may not exist goes. And the idea is that you will be restricted to uh, city centers, mega regions, mega cities, and you will not be able to get out into the rural and uh, suburban areas. This plan is about bringing people out of rural and suburban areas into city centers where they can be more easily controlled, monitored, and surveilled. That is what this is about, more eyes on the street. Community-oriented policing is Department of Justice. This is about creating more crime calling it community crime, and then being able to jail more people. Those prisons are public-private partnerships. So this is what we're looking at, is a combination of nonprofits, corporations, and government. This is how government has taken over. And again, right here where I live in Austin, they now have TSA checkpoints downtown, and at the train, 
and they admit you're not going to have the money to, to have a car. You're going to be on a bike or in these compact cities, and guess what they're doing out in Elgin and other areas? They're going to use federal taxpayer money to build 10-story high-rises in the country, mm -hmm. make everybody move into them, and they say they'll then be a factory off the back like China. Yes, it's the Chinese model. That's exactly what it is. With the suicide nets, I guess. <laughs> and you know, uh, the Walton Family Foundation, the Ford Foundation, the Rockefeller Foundation, many huge foundations are funding nonprofits that then pressure your government and partner with corporations to make this happen. This is what it's about, but we have power. The people have power, and we can stop it, but we need to work together. And by the way, for those that don't know, the globalists all brag, China is the model, and it's an anti-human system not meant to build up a civilization, meant to destroy it, to reduce population. It's not that, oh, there's horrible labor in China before they get built up, like our Industrial Revolution 150 years ago. The globalist didn't get to fully take over. The robber barons got beaten back in the 20s and 30s and 40s and 50s. This is their massive counterstrike. This is their move. Mm -hmm. That's right. You know, this is, if you look at who the large corporations are behind this, some of them, like Siemens and IBM, are a continuation of the Nazi plan. This is exactly what we're looking at, control, management of information, and restriction on your use of land, water, and minerals, and all, every aspect of human life is going to be controlled, and it is in the process right now. If you take a look at what the largest job growth, what the largest industry growth is over the next 20 years projected, it's retinal scanning and imaging machines, secure data storage, satellite imaging, and, of course, social networking. So none of, you, none of your information is private. Break down, uh, again, the latest on what they're doing, our victories, how we beat them, where you see this going, Rosa Corey. What this is about is about uh, taking away your right to uh, privacy, to your freedom, to, uh, to live where you wish, to move freely, and to instate instead the power of the community. People need to educate themselves about what this looks like in their town because you're going to see it called many different things. Your smart meters, you might see it as the international codes. Um, you'll see it as uh, whatever that plan is called, Vision 2025 or One Valley, One Vision, or whatever they're calling it in your town. It's the same plan all across the world. And Agenda 21 is the action plan to inventory and control all land, water, minerals, plants, animals, means of construction, education, energy, and information, and human beings in the world. That's what this plan is about. Now, we have a chance to fight this. I believe that 2013 is the year of critical awareness all over the world, and we are really breaking through. This is the year where people are understanding that this is a global, regional, neighborhood plan. It's global, designed to look like it's coming up from the grassroots, and it is not. So it's up to us. There's no heroes, nobody on the sidelines here. You know, we've got to get out there and expose these public-private partnerships in our local communities and our towns. We want to educate our local officials and let them know that we will support them if they refuse to take federal grants for Partnership for Sustainable Community Grants. We will support them. But if they don't, if they don't listen to us, we will take them out. We need to recognize that we have power. So what we're doing is, we are getting active in the resistance. We're understanding that you don't wait until it gets violent. You want to call a halt to it while you can. So you want to stop redevelopment projects. This is so-called urban renewal, which actually directs you into city centers. You want to stop them from pulverizing your rural roads to gravel. You want to get out there and protect those farmers that are out there being uh, being restricted and regulated to death. They're putting monitoring on wells, private wells. They are. What is happening with your government is that you are looking at treason. Treason is happening in every town. There are people who think that they're doing the right thing. It's up to us as the informed electorate to let our elected officials know that they are committing treason. And treason has no statute of limitations. There is no statute of limitations. So these people will be held to account. And this is our job. 
there are way more of us than there are of them. And we need to expose collaborators, speak out, anti-Delphi these meetings, and work together to break that left-right paradigm because that terrifies those who are in power. And we can do it. We are doing it all over the world. I'll actually be in Texas in March. I'm traveling all across the country speaking out. And Exciting. people are joining me. This is tremendous. We are really getting movement across the world. We have a series of videos online called Near Riot at Delphi Meeting, which are really great. And the thing is, is that people now are beginning to recognize what it looks like because they've been told, you know, these controlled opposition people will tell you not to talk about Agenda 21. That's what controlled opposition looks like. So you need to show up and occupy those government meetings and talk about Agenda 21, sustainable development. Let them know that you know what it is. Those three pillars of Agenda 21 are economy, ecology, and social equity. And when you see that together, you want to break that down. And you want to advise your elected officials that you are going to take them out. You know about those little kids, the six-year-olds who got uh, suspended from school for using their fingers like guns and saying, bang, It's bang. total Soviet mind control. <laughs> right. This is what we're talking about is actually uh, social engineering and restricting human beings so that they literally don't know what is right and what is wrong. And this is how you break down a society. We want to talk about a hostile takeover. There are so many of us who are becoming aware we need to stand tall, stand together, and refuse this indoctrination that we're getting. How freaked out is the enemy right now? They are so freaked out. It's incredible. <laughs> they were thinking they were going to pull this off and be able to. They're in the end game. But you know what? We are giving them a run for their money, and we will prevail because this is not going to fly. People are not willing to allow their entire culture to be destroyed in order to be moved into these mega units in centers of, of cities. You know, your town, whatever your little town is, that is a collector feeder town, and that will be closed down, and you'll be moved into the huge city. Take a look at mega regions on our website. This is a project. Oh, they've of, openly announced it. I'm in this uh, particular mega region, and, and they admit that you're not going to be able to live in these little towns unless you have special permits. That's all under the original UN maps where half the country's off limits. I mean, this is so diabolical. It's true, but you know what? We do have them on the run. When you start seeing this, uh, you know, they're vilifying me in the press. That's when I know I'm winning. When they're actually out there talking about this and they're saying, oh, that Agenda 21, that's a good thing. When they wouldn't even admit that it existed for 20 years, you know, then you know you're winning. We are out there. We are bringing up the troops, and nobody is going to be left behind. Nobody on the sidelines. No heroes. We all work together. This plan is predicated on sharing information. That's part of Agenda 21. It's all about sharing our info through technology. This is a technocracy. It is. And so every part of your life is being shared. You have no personal privacy. You need to break that paradigm and refuse to cooperate. That's why they want you in the megapolises with the face scanning cameras, the controls, mm -hmm. where they can turn the taxes up. To, to bankrupt anybody they want and, and literally render you down to people living in jail cells. That's their plan. Turn the cities into giant uh, medium security prison grids. I mean, it's while the elite live in the country and are exempt flying there by jet copter. Mm -hmm. That's exactly right. This is about controlling populations, restricting ability to move freely and to speak out. These are criminal authoritarians. You've got to realize they are your mortal enemies.